here to, to tell you about why I developed the rug badger. I'll tell you my story. And my story is, um, about you know, 10 years ago, I, um, I started transitioning my business from being a carpet cleaner to doing loose rugs because I realized that there was a real opportunity that just wasn't being served. I had heard so many clients talking about the rugs and how disappointed they were when they were taken away. And I thought, you know what? Hey, I can I can do rugs. You know, I, I took a carpet cleaning class. I know all about rugs. So I, um, I, I started doing rugs. And, uh, you know, I really wasn't having a whole lot of success. I wasn't getting a lot of business in the door. I mean, I even put a great big sign on the side of my rental building. And I, I was getting very, very little business. And I realized after uh, taking a Howard Partridge um, seminar that I need to build my business by referral. So I thought, you know, hot dog, this is going to work really good. So I went around to the Persian rug dealers. I went around to several of them, and they all laughed at me when I asked for referrals. But there's one guy, he humored me. His name was Fred, and he said, he said, Dusty, he says, you see this dirty little rug here? He goes, if you can get this rug clean, I will recommend you to every single one of my clients. And so myself being a, you know, a guy trying to build his business and make some dollars, I thought, great, man, I am going to do such a good job on this rug. This guy's going to recommend me to everybody. You know, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the pay dirt now. So I took that rug back to my shop and I cleaned it the best way I knew how. I vacuumed it both sides. I used cleaning formulas which were formulated for wool. I shampooed it. I steam cleaned it. I detailed the fringes, um, hung up to let it dry. I groomed it up and touched it up after cleaning and the rug looked gorgeous. I was so proud of that rug. The rug looked so good and I just knew that when I delivered it that Fred was going to fall in love with that rug. And he was going to be so impressed. I was going to get tons of business. Well. This was like the shock of my life because, you know, when I delivered that rug to Fred, I asked him, I said, where do you want it? He said, just drop it right there. And he knew what was going to happen. See, I didn't because I was a carpet cleaner. I didn't know about rugs. You know what happened? When I dropped that rug, dirt just went poof out of that rug. It was like the rug all of a sudden, all this dust and dirt came flying out of both ends and there was dirt everywhere. And the rug started to unravel as it was unraveling. It was like a dust storm was gathering. And I was in shock. I was, going, I was like, how on earth could that dirt be coming out of the rug so easily? I mean, I cleaned that rug. I used a you know, powerful vacuum. I used a big hot sucker. I mean, how could that rug dare to still be dirty? I mean, that, this is impossible. I mean, I knew what I was doing, and that rug was easily giving up dirt just from dropping it on the floor and letting it unroll. Well, the Persian rug dealer, Fred, he picked up one of these guys. You ever see one of these? Rug beater? He grabbed the corner of that rug and he started thumping it. Dirt's jumping out of it. And he told me, he yelled at me. He said, Dusty, he says, if you don't beat the rug, it's still dirty. And I, I was scared. I thought he was going to start hitting me with it. He said, take it, take it back to your shop. He says, and beat it. You've got to get the dirt out of this rug or it's not clean. So I came back to my shop with that rug and I beat it and beat it and beat it and beat it. And I was covered in dirt. I mean, I, mean, I, I was inhaling the dirt. I was, you know, head to toe dirt, and dirt, gritty dirt, kept on coming out of it. I mean, this is a rug I just cleaned, and the rug looked good, but it was still dirty. So finally, I just gave up. It was like I couldn't do it. So I took that rug back to Fred, and I apologized to him, and um, he he didn't recommend us, at least not at that point. This is not the end of the story. So I realized I had to do something about this, and I and I knew. I had to get some machine or a system to get the dirt out. And I heard that back on the east coast of the states, there were these great big monstrous machines these guys had called moor machines. And they could, they could beat or vibrate the dirt out one way or another. So I took a trip back there to see these machines in action. And I was uh, blown away. I mean, these are great big, huge, honking machines. I mean, they're powerful. They make lots of noise. And dirt just dumps out of rugs like crazy. But I quickly realized they weren't going to work for me because, number one, the company that makes them had gone out of business. Well, not gone out of business, but he had stopped building those. There just wasn't enough market for them. That's what he said. Number two, they're on three-phase power. I didn't have three-phase three -phase power at that point. And the other thing, well, if I could have got one, it would have cost way too much, more, too much money for me because I was just a carpet cleaner trying to transition into rug cleaning. I didn't need big, monstrous, expensive equipment. I just needed to do a better job. So... I started experimenting with different systems to get the dirt out. I heard that if you put a rug upside down, some buckets on it, on it upside down, and put some blowers underneath, you get the flap, and dirt would come out. Well, you know, it worked pretty good, but it left a mess all over the parking lot, and 
On top of that, it wasn't getting the dirt out very well because I could still come along, come along with one of these, give it a couple of whacks after that rug had been plopped in the driveway for a couple of uh, couple of hours, and dirt would dump out of it. So it just wasn't going to work. So I also experimented with air dusting. That's where you use a great big compressor, and I made a special manifold. I had a I had a, um, a fabricator make a little manifold so we could blow the air through a manifold and blew it into the back of the, or into the front of the rug, but my compressor wasn't big enough. I mean, it was going to take me, it was going to take a huge compressor, very, very expensive proposition, and uh, it just didn't seem to be working. Besides that, my neighbor, a car lot, he didn't like it. As a matter of fact, he warned me. He said, if you keep on doing this, I'm going to get you in trouble. He says, I think what you're doing is, is, is not legal. And, you know, I had to agree with him. I mean, his guys are out there cleaning the cars every day because I'm, a, I'm trying to air dust. But you know, at the end of the day, those rugs that I air dusted, if I hit them on the back with this, they were still giving up gritty dirt. The air dusting was fantastic, very impressive at uh, blowing out the, the lighter soils, but it was failing completely to get the gritty, ground in, dry, abrasive soil out. So, we, uh, we decided that we would do something about this. We um, actually retained an engineer. Um, he's, actually, uh, he's actually built a lot of machinery and engineered a lot of machinery for the carpet cleaning business and he said he was up to the task so we we retained him to start developing our rug badger to take the soil out of a rug from the back side put the rug upside down run a portable machine over the back to put vibrations in we went through a number of different revisions prototypes lots of tests and i'm so proud because this is our rug badger right here we've actually been doing this for over three years now we have clients all over the world and this will help you to be so much more successful in your rug care business by getting all the dirt out of the rug prior to your washing job whether you do a, a low moisture system or a wetter system but by removing the soil first with a rug badger it allows you to become the go-to experts in your town for oriental rug care because you won't ever have a problem with the embarrassing poof of dirt. So again, thank you for watching this little video. My name is Dusty and I'm here to help you get more out of rugs.